Popeye's got spinach to give him strength. Well, I've got cauliflower bites, baked with a light crispy crust and tossed in a sesame ginger glaze for the perfect light and healthy snack. To the kitchen. Alrighty, so this is what cauliflower looks like, and I don't particularly love cauliflower, but this way I do absolutely love it, so it's a great way to get your veggies in. So I want to just take it by starting on the back and just cutting around, watching my fingers, getting these kind of harder leaves cut out of the way so I can expose the cauliflower itself. Once you have this, then it's much easier to get into those stems and just kind of cut those stalks, and then this will be exposed, and literally I can just get my hand in here and just rip out the stem. Then it's super easy to just kind of go in a circular motion, again, of course, watching your fingers, and cutting the florets away from the stem in a circular motion. This should give us the size that that we're looking for. I personally like them a little bit more on the bite size, so you can just kind of pop them. But it's nice to have some smaller ones, some bigger ones. As long as they're close in size, they're gonna cook evenly. Once you have the size that you're looking for, I'll get them into some water, not only to clean them, but get rid of those teeny tiny cauliflower crumbs. Dry these thoroughly before going to our batter. Speaking of which, we'll start with some all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, black pepper. Give that a nice stir. And then we're gonna slowly stream in the liquid of your choosing. I'm going with milk, the variety is up to you, but we're going about equal parts here. So this is about a cup of all-purpose flour, so I'm doing about a cup of milk but it may vary how much you need so i would just suggest streaming it in slowly keep whisking it until you get the batter that you're looking for we're not quite going for a thick pancake batter but maybe a little bit thicker than say a ranch dressing you can see here it's kind of in between those two things and as long as you stick one in and it really just sticks to it and coats it very nicely without being too watery or too thick that's exactly what we're going for so feel free to just test one before letting everybody else join the party please be smarter than me make your life easier and use a large container i'll get those in the fridge for just a few minutes and now we'll go with the dry portion i'm using these panko breadcrumbs because they're nice puffy and crispy i'll get a little bit of salt and black pepper in there give those a mix and now here's where you really don't want to overcrowd do this in batches take your time use a large container but you really just want to coat these super nicely get them all coated all the way around as long as you don't see any more of the batter underneath and it's just those panko breadcrumbs all the way around you are good to go then i'll get some parchment on a baking sheet i'm going to spray it with a little bit of oil butter spray whatever you have not because i'm worried about it sticking but because i'm lazy i don't want to flip my cauliflower while i'm baking them so i'm going to add a little bit of that just to help the bottom brown i'm also going to spray the top and again you don't want to overcrowd your pan give them plenty of space use multiple pans if you need to once they're all nice and coated with a little bit of oil on each side we'll get them into the oven at 400 degrees for about 25 minutes and if you want to flip yours halfway through go for it but you can see with mine they come out perfectly crispy all the way around this is exactly what i'm looking for they have a perfectly light crispy crust you'd almost think they were fried they actually bake up super nice with this really thin batter and these are so poppable and addictive they're great just like this they're tender in the middle crispy on the outside but i want to get a glaze going so i'll get a little bit of oil in a pan I'll take some ginger that's been peeled and chopped, throw that in there. Take some garlic, throw that in there as well. And we just want to sweat these down to release the flavor. We're really not looking to get any color on these, so over medium heat for a few minutes. Once we sweat them out very nicely, we'll throw in our orange juice. I'm going with two cups of orange juice because I'm making a large amount of this glaze. And I just want to reduce it down, right? So we'll bring it up to a nice simmer and just reduce it down by about half. That's why I started with two cups. I'm looking for about a cup towards the end. Once it gets like this, almost like a syrupy glaze, not quite super, super syrupy yet. But once it's reduced down like this, I'll get in my brown sugar a little bit goes a long way but this will help with a little bit of richness and sweetness and it will really darken it up once it does i'll get in my soy sauce about a half cup of soy sauce here soy sauce obviously super salty so i haven't put any salt into this dish yet if you want to keep reducing it's all up to you at this point you can kind of serve this like a thinner dip or you can thicken it up like a glaze up to you reduce it as much as you'd like then i'm gonna get in some scallions because i love a lot of scallions in this i'll throw about half these in there and then for the main ingredient sesame oil i love sesame oil on absolutely everything a little bit goes a long way a couple drops are gonna make this perfect this will thicken as it cools so take that into consideration give it a taste i also threw in some black pepper a little bit of sriracha for some heat the natural sweetness from the orange juice the brown sugar the tanginess the saltiness from the soy sauce a little bit of heat just to balance everything out but give it a taste make it to your liking you can reduce this down even further to make it more of a glaze or more syrupy but i take this it's the perfect balance for me i toss it directly with that cauliflower while it's still nice and hot and it's unbelievable how crunchy the crust stays with some of the glaze on this i mean if you want a little bit less you can just drizzle it over the cauliflower on top whatever you're looking for but i like completely tossing it just like it's almost like a chicken wing you could really use this sauce on any vegetable or protein or anything you want to put it on it's amazing how crispy the outside stays but the inside is perfectly soft and tender but not mushy at all it's just the perfect consistency that quick roast with that nice crust on it got it exactly what we're looking for obviously if you're trying to save some calories you could just go naked with the cauliflower and just roast it straight up with some salt and some pepper and then toss this glaze on it the possibilities are endless i have tons of cauliflower power i barely use any memes in this video i'm having meme withdrawal so i'm gonna go look at some pictures now